Plus, private greenfield airport in Durgapur, West Bengal, is now operational. Developed by Bengal Etropolis Projects Limited, the company which says it is also the first in India to launch an Etropolis, which means developing institutional and residential infrastructure around the airport. We spoke to the managing director of Bengal Etropolis, Bartha Ghosh, to find out more. This is the new airport in Durgapur, West Bengal, developed by Bengal Eretropolis Projects Limited. The company successfully acquired 2,000 acres of land in Durgapur and the airport commenced operations on the 18th of May. It expects to cater to half a million passengers today and a million in three years. The first phase of investment is pegged at 2,000 crore rupees, of which 1,150 crore rupees has already been invested. Of this, 350 crore rupees each is the equity and debt component and the remaining 400 crore rupees has been raised through internal accruals. So what is the advantage of an Eretropolis? Coinage of Eretropolis means a city around an airport. This is a concept of doing it by design where a city has airport at its fulcrum. So that is where the whole concept lies. It took us almost six years. I'm talking of right from the uh, beginning of land acquisition, thereafter the planning, uh, implementation, and now we have the airport which is commissioned. We have got the final licenses. In fact, it is co commercially operational from 18th of May uh, this year. And uh, it's over a 2,000 acre uh, total project land, out of which 65, 650 acres is just the airport only. Support for the project has come from the government of West Bengal in the form of a tax holiday on ATF for flights refueling at the airport. Air India has flights from Delhi and Mumbai to Durgapur and the company is in talks with Indigo, Spicejet and other airlines to get more flights. The central government had approved as many as 17 greenfield airport projects but only this one has become operational. I think uh, in other cases, most of it was government driven, whether it is the Karnataka government. Three of them are in Karnataka, the state of Karnataka only. Um, there are other states as well. In Madhya Pradesh, in Gwalior, there's a private initiative. There are PPP, public private initiatives also in different states. They predominantly what I heard from the different steering committee meetings that we attend from time to time. Uh, there are land acquisition issues. There are clearance related issues, both at the central and the state government. This project is the first which has seen an investment by Singapore's Changi Airport, which has picked up 36.2% stake. Indian promoters hold a majority of 51%, the Bengal government 1.2%, and ILNFS hold the remaining 11.8%. There are... Uh predominantly three sets of uh, four sh sets of shareholder uh, one is the indian promoters changi airport which started its journey way back in 2009 with 26 percent equity uh, today is at 36.2 uh, percent thanks to our honorable chief minister Ms. mamta Banerjee. ilfs is there around 12 percent and west bengal government through wbidc holds a token of 1.2 percent we have a uh, equity base of almost 350 crores as of now we have spent 1150 crores out of which 750 crores has gone predominantly into the completion of the airport now that the durgapur airport has been commissioned bengal eretropolis consortium is looking to invest in other similar projects and ludhiana could be the next destination in new delhi with sindhu bhattacharya in mumbai arundhati ramanan